All right, back nine and third attempt at Scarborough Shorts for 900. Let's get to it. Spin it. All right, hey DMD family, welcome back to another Discs MD video. Funky here, and okay, back nine. Uh, so you know the score now, and now I'm just going to play straight through. No more confusing. I'm going to play 10 through 18, and you're going to see 10 through 18. <laughs> Sorry about the first, the front nine got a little muddled, but we worked through it. Anyway, we're all warmed up, ready to go. We are three under. Oops. Sorry if you haven't seen the first half. I'll link it up here. Forget I said that. We're not three under. Who said that? Three under. Okay, have you gone back and watched it? Okay. We're three under <laughs> uh, through front nine. Uh, three under is the goal that we're trying to hit here in chasing 900. So this is my, again, I said this is my third attempt. So uh, hopefully we can get it. So let's just get on and start playing. All right, hole number 10 here. It is straight in front of me, but there's a bunch of stuff overhanging and to the left. So I like to put it right and fade it back to the left. I haven't been able to do that successfully lately. Hopefully we can do it today. 219 feet. So a couple of things that I'll start referencing through this video is stuff that Josh White is saying from Overthrow Disc Golf. A couple of things my buddy Corey Sargent told me. A couple of things you've told me. So I'll just start walking through some of my thought process and, you know, get this back nine going. All right. A little bit of headwind. Throw on the BB6 here. Let's see how close we can get it. <sighs> Glide. Skip up. That's going to be a long putt, but hey. We'll give it a shot. All right, not nearly as long as I thought. Still longer than I like. <laughs> uh, what are we, like 20 feet out here? Short. Hmm. Gotta get those up. Like that. All right. Take the par. Move on to 11. Let's go. Don't be tentative in your putting. Be confident. Let's go. All right. So, just to frame Josh's, uh, I think, most recent short about accuracy and hitting your line, three aspects of hitting your line. The line that you're walking up on establishes your aim point. Your posture establishes bringing your disc through and your finishing hand position is the third aspect. You have to consider all three of those when you're trying to hit your line. I am very sloppy when it comes to walk up. And he, when I was down playing with him last week, he reminded me, your walk up needs to be toward your target. <laughs> so I need to get better at that. So let's try that today. Uh, 207 feet. The basket is to the right of the tee box, but I need to take this last, this left path and have it hook up at the end. I'm going to throw my midi. Just get up and out of the woods. Walk up, posture, release point. And there it is. Go through. Go through. Oh, that that was the exact line I wanted to hit. Just a little high, but the exact line I wanted to hit. Let's go get it. All right, really long putt here. See if we can get it. Jump a little bit. Uh, wind is picking up. A front's coming through. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, so wind's starting to pick up. It's actually starting to get colder. I might pull out my friction gloves. All right. Link in the description below for 20% or 10% off of those. Oh, hit the basket. Didn't jump, but I wanted to see if I could run this without jumping. Because this is like, you know, 50, 55 feet, 60 feet maybe. So that was a good test for me. Yeah. That was 60 feet. So you know what that tells me? 
the D clip is working, baby. The D clip is working. Go get yourself one. Link in the description below for 10% off. 60 feet standstill. I was maybe 12 inches short of hitting the basket, getting in the basket. So there you go. Uh, all right, 300 almost exactly, I think, right into the edge of the woods up there. Where is the wind coming from and where is it going? So it's left to right, a bit of a tail. I'm going to use my Mad Cat. So I'm talking to my buddy, Corey. I don't know how much he watches my stuff. If you're watching, Corey, hey, thanks for the advice. Chasing a number is tough. He said, you know, you want to get better. You want to improve your game. You want to focus on areas of improvement. That's great. But first and foremost, primary thing is remember to have fun and enjoy the game. And that's why we're doing this, right? I'm competitive. I like to compete. And that's fun for me. But I also have to remember, I'm never going to be on a pro tour, right? My competitiveness needs to be laced with enjoyment of the sport so if i'm not having fun if i'm not enjoying playing why do it uh yes get better yes compete yes have that you know gumption to improve yourself but in, enjoy the game <laughs> enjoy the game all right under feet you know what we're doing here mad cat get my walk up right Let that wind take it. Yeah. That should be like a 15-footer. That's the best throw I've had on this hole, I think. Yeah, that's it. What? 18-footer? Yep, 18, 19-footer, 20-footer. Again, one of the better drives I've had here. Just focus on making the putt. There we go. Let's go. Is that five under? Is that five under now? Yeah, let's go. All right. So the primary objective now, even par from 13 to 18. That's doable, people. That's doable. Let's go. All right, 206 feet. Again, this is the one narrow gap about, I don't know, 70, 80 feet off the, off the tee pad. Baskets to the left. It's straight through. I can see it from here. I don't know if you can or not. So, but it's up and to the left. So I'm going to forehand my horny toad here. Now, I mean, maybe that's it. Maybe I'm just not having enough fun. If I'm not having a good time while I'm playing this round and entertaining yell at me in the comments that's what i need to do just have fun all right right if you saw foundations uh one with uh, Con uh connor and hunter uh there spin the wheel have whoever has the most fun wins am i right all right here we go we do have to focus though Get around. Oh. That was a bad kick. Let's go see if we can get up and down. I mean, and honestly, if we're going to be real about it, the more shots we get to throw, the more fun we're having because we get to play more disc golf. So as Hunter so wisely put it, the higher your score, the more fun you're having. The more fun you're having means you win. I can't, I can't argue with his logic. I really can't. Except for here, where I have absolutely no shot. <laughs> Let me get my footing. Sorry. Yeah. That should put me in range of the par there. Alright, let's go. Like I said, par is what we need from here on out. So that's what we're shooting for. All right. One down. 14, 15, 16, 17. Five more to go. Par through five holes. At least. It'd be nice to get a one down through five to get six down. Anyway, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's have fun.
I'm winning. I'm having more fun. All right, with the theology that, well, not theology, but with the thinking that he who has the most fun wins, and he who throws the most shots has the most fun, this is the most fun hole on the course. Hole 14. Behold, I give you the litany of trees with varying sundry small gaps that I get to miss. <laughs> so, 288 feet, but 80 feet downhill. I've never tried a forehand line because it looks like the right-hand side is a little more open than the left. But I'm just going to go backhand, try to poke something, get it down as far as I can. All right, not awful. But as a bonus, I want to try a forehand. All right, I tried to keep that too low. No bonus. We'll cut that. All right. This was the extra shot that I just threw just for fun. I might have included it in the footage. I might not have. This is my drive. I just wanted to see what a forehand did, but I didn't get it up in the air enough. So a lot of work left to do here. I don't know if you can see the basket straight ahead. I don't know what I'm doing. Am I going up and around? I don't... Mm. All right, there's a small gap here. I'm going to try to go through it right here. Get down. <gasps> I think that's right next to the basket. <laughs> that would be awesome. Let's go see. Just for fun, that is the gap that I went through right there. See if I can get my finger in the right place. Right there. Went through that gap with a forehand around the right side of this tree and back to the basket. So let's go see where it went. Well, well, well. Sorry, that was terrible footage. There we have it. About a 10 footer. Death putt, 10 footer. It is very, very scary. Let's get it. My head may be cut off here. Sorry. Sniffing a lot. It's getting cold. My nose is running. I need Kleenex. I should use a leaf or something. My head may be cut off here. And we're going to try to make this little 10 footer. Alrighty. That's a par on 14. That's like a birdie. Let's go to 15. Let's go. All right. Hole number 15. 200 feet. This is a terrible one to video, so you'll hear my voice. You may see me a little bit, but you probably won't see my face ever. Maybe here. 200 feet, way uphill. Plays way longer than 200 feet. I use my Wrangler here. A lot of disc, but this is a bonus birdie. Get your walk up right. Oh, go. Oh, go. Sweet. I'll take that. All right. You may all be witnessing. You all. Are you kidding me? Let me catch my breath. Again, because I'm old. And that is a really long way uphill. But. Let's have a chat. A little fireside. A little funky. The disc is MD. There's the basket right there. That basket right there has never been birdied by this player right here. You may be, in fact, watching history of not only Discs MD channel, but my career at Scarborough. Why did I build it up so high before I even attempt making the putt? Did I not learn anything from my last round? <laughs> but hey, we're having fun. Okay, let's get it. Ladies and gentlemen, a birdie on hole 15. This is the last hole on this course that I've had to birdie. I've birdied every other hole on the course except for this one. 
And now, thanks to this little disc, the Wrangler, I've birdied hole 15. I may, I may start crying right now. I may. I'm having so much fun now. <laughs> yeah, guys, is, is this the key ingredient that I've been missing the whole time? Am I pressuring myself way too much and being way too serious about this? Do this. Just everybody. Hold on. Hold on. Everybody together now with me. Do this. Yeah, way too serious, Bunky. Have fun. Enjoy the game. Let's finish. All right, so hole 16, playing the shorts, which is the basket right up here. Uh, the tee pad right up here. I put you on the long tee pad because it has a better shot of the basket right there. 185 feet. If I did my math right, if I have my holes right, I, I can't keep score. I need to start bringing a phone I can keep score on. I birdied no one, not two. I birdied three, not four. Birdied five, not six, not seven. Birdied eight. Birdied nine, not 10, not 11. Birdied 12. Not 13, not 14, 30. So I should be six under right now. Wow. Okay. Well, let's just finish this out really strong. This is a possibility and 18 is a possibility. I, I don't know. But this is, yeah, this is the mindset. So in the first video, I told you, you need to prepare your body. You also need to prepare your mind. And that's what I'm learning on this video. Prepare your mind. All right, here we go. Smooth throw, just get it up there. Turned it over a little bit. Okay, ping ponged. Okay, that's all right. That should get up and down for the par. Still having fun. Let's go get it. All right, I'm gonna step out in front of you. I'm here, basket's there. Pitch it up for the par. Or put it in. <laughs> Stay. All right. I'm going to dunk that in. Move on to 17. Let's finish this up. I feel good. Feel real good. All right. There it is. I'm going to grab it real quick. Oh, that's terrible camera work. I'm sorry. Grab Mr. Benjamin Franklin. And wow, that's really close. Throw him in for the par. Move on to hole 17. All right, hole 17, 286 feet, pretty far downhill, snaking pathway, uh, narrow, narrow pathway up there. I'm going to throw my Emerson Keith blue bonnet. Uh, I, hopefully this will fade just a little bit. I can throw it like flat or a little ante, get it fade left just a little bit and kick back at the end. This again, bonus birdie, but let's just, you know, enjoy the game. Enjoy being outside, having fun. Who, I mean, who else gets to do this? Like, who else gets to do this? Uh, it's so fun. It is. All right. Yeah, that's the line. A little short. Oh, I may have a look. I may have a look at Birdie here. All right. I do have a look here. I mean, a long look, but a look. Mark this up. Not great footing. Oh, now I'm getting my pants all dirty. All right. Relax and make the putt. Oh, so close. So close. Yep, that was the one. <laughs> so close. Oh, I'll take it though. Hey, we're still six under. And we still have one more to go. And we can still birdie it. And we're still having an exuberant amount of fun. Make sure that's the right word. Look it up. Let me know in the comments. All right, y'all. Here we are. Last hole. And again, if I did my math right, we're at six under here at hole 18. Uh, what's this? 204 feet straight in front, but I got to get around that dead stump up there. Last time I threw my Benny and it went straight and didn't finish. I'm going to try throwing my 
blue bonnet here. I threw it way far last time. So uh, we'll just try to smooth something up there. Get to try to get the birdie and get the seven under. Hit something. Hit something. Yes. Yes. The backboard. That's what I was aiming for. I was aiming for that tree. Backboard. Bank it in. Bank ace. You know. But let's go up see if we can get the birdie and get out of dodge. All right. So here it is. What? 15 foot. Yep. 15 feet for one short of my course record. Wow. Seven under. Ah, guys, uh, girls, ladies, people, family, DMD family. Ah, wow. What a difference uh, a day makes. Because I filmed this the day after my last round that you watched where I was one under. One under? To go from one under seven under, what's the difference? Well, warmed up my body. Got my body prepared. Got my mind prepared. Wow, man. I, again, eh, this sport is so much fun. If I'm not having fun, I, why am I doing This is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. Who wouldn't want to do this? And if you get to do this, why wouldn't you have a blast doing it? That's, You know what? My mindset has changed. I want to just have a blast doing this. So I want you to come along and have a blast with me doing this. Tell your friends, tell your family, just get everybody here and let's just have a lot of fun playing disc golf. Yeah, because we're going to keep doing this for a very, very long time. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for joining along. Until next time, enjoy the journey and here's your verse of the day.